Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 3.2. We're going to draw Lewis dot diagrams for atoms, ions, and compounds. We're going to state the octet rule. Hi. Um, we're going to state exceptions to the octet rule that occur Hi. if a D block is present. Um, single, double, and triple covalent bonds, identifying by their structures. We're going to talk about resonance structures. We're talk about molecular formulas and structural formulas. We're going to define Vesper theory, valent, shell, electron, pair, repulsion. Hope you wrote that down. Name, draw, and describe the common shapes. Explain the concept of bind, hybridization, and match with the shapes. Let's do it. Bonds form by connecting the dots of Lewis structures. Okay. The octet rule says atoms are stable when they are full. Full is usually eight. So the way that we do this um, so bonds are stable by filling this up. So if I have, I think I have the rules for it next. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. So making Lewis dot structures and 3D straight shapes for molecular compounds only, meaning two nonmetals. The least frequently occurring atom goes in the middle, or C. Put on valence electrons. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Make double or triple bonds if necessary. And only the central atom can break the octet rule. If it's on the third row of the periodic table or bigger, it can have more than six. Or, I'm sorry, more than eight. If it's an aluminum group, it can have smaller than eight. And you are the master of the electron, meaning you can put it anywhere you want to. So we'll start with CH4. So least frequently occurring one goes in the middle. Here's carbon. Bam. Now valence electrons comes from its column on the periodic table. So if you think of the periodic table like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon is right here. So carbon has four valence electrons. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My counting skills are wonderful. So I put four dots around it. Doot, 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 doot. And when you add dots, you put single, 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 single. You don't pair them up until um, you get to the fifth one. And then I have four hydrogens. And I'm going to aim my hydrogens at these single electrons. Hydrogen's right here, so it has one valence electron. And then you... Connect the dots, la, la, la. Connect the dots, la, la. So carbon has two, four, six, eight. So carbon's happy. Now hydrogen has only two. Remember how these double count? So each hydrogen has two, but that makes hydrogen happy because it only needs two. Remember, hydrogen only needs two. It's pretty much the only one that needs that. We'll go over the other ones that don't. But for us, hydrogen's the only one that needs two. Nitrogen. Nitrogen's right here. So it has five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have three hydrogens, so I'm going to aim it at my single electrons. And why did I put one dot? Because hydrogen's right here. It has one valence electron. Then I connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. There you go. Okay. And nitrogen has two, four, six, Eight. So nitrogen's happy, and each hydrogen has two. N2, trickier. Nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five. Nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five. Notice how I aim my pairs away. My single electrons typically form bonds. Now I can do this. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. That's ugly, though. So the way it should look, if it's a triple bond, would be three bonds in the middle two dots on the outside. And that's it. CO2 is a little different. It goes in the middle. There's only one carbon, so it goes in the middle. One, two, three, four. Oxygen has six. One, two, three, four. I'm going to aim my pairs away from it. Five, six. Oxygen has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Now, this is weird, and this is kind of dumb, but and that's what happens, but clearly that looks ugly. So see how there's a double bond between C and O on the right? So I'm going to make that a double bond C and O on the right. And a double bond on the left. Oops. And then let's see if everybody's happy. Oxygen has two, four, six, eight. I didn't mean to write on that one. Let's see if I can have, if I can erase it. I cannot. So it's happy. Oh, and there it went. This one is also happy because it has two, four, six, eight, and oxygen has two, four, six, eight. It's happy, too. So this is a good structure for CO2. I just showed you that. Vesper, valent shell electron pair repulsion. Electrons are always in pairs. Remember, that would make them full orbitals, which would make them stable. Electrons push each other away. 
this tells us the shape. So because electrons are negative, they repel other negative things. Bonds hybridized. So only single electrons bond. Electron configurations change to make single bonding electrons. This is called hybridization. Sulfur can form six bonds, and oxygen can't. So if you look at it this way, see how if I have, um, if I'm going to hybridize these things, um, they're a blend. So if I have an S orbital, I'm going to do this part. Those pictures are just pretty, and it's out of date, to be honest with you. Okay. Now, if I have carbon bonding, carbon is S2P2. And remember, only single electrons bond. So I'm going to take this one and promote it. We saw that before. And this way, instead of having one bond, which would be an S bond and three Ps, what happens is when we look at it, we don't see one S and three Ps. We see four that are the same. So what happens is you get sp3 with four orbitals. Okay. Linear is sp hybridized. Ionics don't do this. So anytime it's linear, it's sp hybridized. So if some foolish teacher asks you to do this, chlorine has seven valence electrons from the periodic table we talked about before. <gasps> and then connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Uh-oh. Now you see I have single electrons. They have to make pairs. So that's H, C, N. Now do you see how there's only two regions of negativity? Here's region one. Here's region two. And it doesn't matter if you called this one and this two. But there's only two of them. Two regions means it's going to be S, P hybridized. <laughs> Trigonal planar and bent shape are sp2 hybridized. BF3. So boron has um, three electrons. Fluorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how, again, I aim it at my single electrons. Now, Boron is a weird duck. Whoops, I put <laughs> boron there. Boron is a weird duck because it only needs six to be stable. Remember I talked about aluminum has that? Nope. Connect the dots. <laughs> la, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Okay. Now, if I have three regions of negativity, it's going to look like this because this is a 90 degree, 90 degree, and this would be 180 degrees. And these two would push away until it has this shape. The bond angle here is 120 degrees, all right? Because there's three regions, and it would be sp2. HNO, eight, well, n goes in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. O, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And H has a dot. Connect the dots, la, la, la. Connect the dots, la, la. Okay, so here, notice on my central atom, I have 1, 2, three regions of negativity so it would look like that okay all right so that's it now bent would be something that would have um there are some things where it'd be something that has a lone pair i'm sorry i don't have one ready and then look like this where it have one region two regions three regions but notice there would be bent would be the shape of the atoms is bent the shape of this is trigonal planar trigonal meaning three things in the same plane Tetrahedral, pyramidal, and bent are all sp3 hybridized. I did CH4 before. I did NH3 before. NH3 would look like this. Okay. CH4 would look like this. So I'm just going to do H2O. Oxygen has six valence electrons because of its column in the periodic table. Two hydrogens. Each hydrogen has one. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Now, um... In all honesty, this looks like it's linear. This is not linear. And I want to point out this is not 90 degrees, OK? Because it spreads out, it's 109.5, which is much bigger, OK? So it's not linear. So what happens is it looks like this, but instead of this guy up here and this guy up here, they're just pairs of electrons. So do you see how that would be a bent structure, OK? That is bent. This is trigonal pyramidal. This part right here, what water is, is bent. 
And then what this is here, I'll draw them like this, is tetrahedral. Tetra means four, hedral means sides. Tetrahedrals. Trigonal bipyramidal. Only group three or lower can do this as it requires D electrons. So phosphorus, if you'll notice, is in the second, I'm sorry, it's in the third period. Oh, I just misspelled third. Third period, and it ha is in the fifth, the 5A, 15 columns, so it has five valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five. Fluorine, I have five fluorines. Each fluorine has seven. Now, notice that's only four, so I've got to sneak another one in here. So just kind of wedge it right in this spot. And then I connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Okay, notice I only connect single electrons. Now, if I have five things, we'll have some shapes to do it. It looks like this. Okay? So this is trigonal bipyramidal. Only group three or lower can do this. Okay? Because this requires... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons. 10 electrons needs 5 orbitals. Orbitals. Okay. Octahedral SF6. Sulfur has 6 valence electrons. And then I have 6 fluorines. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll spread them out. 5, 6. Each fluorine has 7. a lot of dots. And then I connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Now when I do that and clean it up a little bit, it looks like this. This is the only shape that we'll deal with that has a 90 degree angle. Okay, So it's octahedral, which is weird because you'd think it would be hexahedral because it has six bonds. But remember, this is talking about the shapes. Now, I don't know if this will do anything for you. We'll be able to see it or not. Whoops, I just missed. But if you look, this makes a pyramid with side one, side two, side three, and then the back side here is side four on the top. And then the bottom one have four more sides. So four plus four is eight, which is the octa. Double bonds, ions, and resonance. Okay, so we did a double bond here already. Let's do a double bond with some resonance for NO3. N has five valence electrons, and each oxygen has six. Oops, oops. Ah, too many dots. Then I connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. Now... No rings are allowed. Rings are wrong. Rings are wrong. Rings are wrong. We're never allowed to have rings. Now, if you notice, this is NO3 negative. That means you got to put a bonus electron somewhere or another, but I don't know where. So what I'm going to do first is um, split up this pair. Remember, I'm the master of the electrons. I'm going to split it up, and I'm going to make a double bond over here. So I took one of those electrons and put it here and made a double bond with that guy. Then I have one electron left. I'm going to put it over here. And I get my bonus electron, I'm going to put it over here. And to show this is negative 1, I put a negative sign right here. Now, you might have thought, oh, I get it. I'll do a double bond here. If I did a double bond here, nitrogen would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Nitrogen cannot have 10 electrons because nitrogen's in the second row. Okay? Now, in reality, you could have drawn the exact same thing but had a double bond in the bottom with all the bonus things, or the double bond on the side. And in reality, they're not really that shape anyway. Um, and the what happens is resonance adds stability because it spreads out repulsion electron pairs. So what happens is it's an average of these. None of those are right. It's a blend of all of those. Okay? We'll do it again with SO4 or 2 negative. So... <laughs> well, I got I have stray dots here. I wish I didn't, but I do. So I'll start with SO4. S goes in the middle. It's the least frequently occurring one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I have O4, I'm going to put an O in every spot. And oxygen has six dots. Now, 
Now, can oxygen make um, break the octet rule? Yes, I'm sorry, I said oxygen. Can sulfur break the octet rule? It could because it is um, lower than, uh, mm, it's lower than third level. So it's on the third level or lower. So what I can do first is make a double bond here. So notice I moved this guy right here. So this guy's going, ch -ch -ch, and I put him down there. Over here, I have two electrons here, but I don't have another S to bond with. And over here, I have a single electron, so I'm going to bond that guy right there and move this one. So if you notice, I have two single electrons, and single electrons have to bond or do something. But notice, if it's negative 2, what I can do is ba-bam, ba-bam. And this way, I have two, um, two pairs and two pairs, pair, pair, and two double bonds. Now, this can be drawn a bunch of different ways. Right? So, S double, oh, I did, uh, 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 uh. and there's a handful of other ones that you can do. Okay? So, because this has more resonance structure, so resonance structures add stability because it spreads out the repulsion of the electron pairs. So, I think I talk about double bonds next. Oh, no. Mm, do I talk about double bonds soon? No. Okay, this is quick. Structural formula conveys the arrangement of the atoms. Structural formula, bam. And molecular formula gives the count of atoms. Bam. So if I were to give you the molecular formula of ethane, I would just count 1, 2, C, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H, 6. Okay? You can't, you can't go from C to H, 6 to that yet, um, but maybe. This is acetic acid. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Now, that's a weird way. I would have expected this to be, if I were to do this this way, H4, one, two, Cs, C2, O2. And that would be fine for what we're doing right now. Okay? And they have to match. But notice here I have one, two, four Hs. One, two, three, four Hs. Carbon, 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 carbon. A, O, 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 O. Match structural formula to the appropriate molecular formula. The, the counting, boys and girls. One carbon, four hydrogens. One carbon, four hydrogens. Whee! One nitrogen, three hydrogens. One nitrogen, three hydrogens. Whee! Two Fs. Whee! That means this is it. One oxygen, two hydrogens. Easy peasy. Give the molecular form of these. Okay. HH2OO2. O, two. One, two, well, let's start with Cs. One, two, C, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One O. Ah, what I forgot to tell you, I guess it's in the next one, so we'll do it. So we are done. We have learned many, many shapes. This has taken many, many times to do learn many, many shapes. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Central atoms the least frequent. Connect the dots, la, la, la. This will take a ton of practice. This was probably not your favorite podcast yet. Um, and then we'll do um, shapes in class. Four bonds is not 90 degrees. Four bonds is not 90 degrees. Four bonds is not 90 degrees. Spend some time with your sheet, which you pick up in class. Hybridization tells us the region of negativity. And it toodles means goodbye. Doodles.